Magical signs that show you have a pure, empathetic soul. Compassion determines your life. There are some wonderful people on this planet who know no resentment, no envy, and no bad attitudes towards their fellow human beings. Their thoughts and actions are determined by empathy and compassion, and they would rather keep quiet than make disparaging remarks about others. Such people are like gold among pebbles, but they are among us. There are some clear indications that you too can count yourself among these very special beings with a pure soul. We would like to introduce you to eight of them in today's podcast. 1. Superficial people are a mystery to you. You never judge others and would rather keep quiet than make negative comments about someone. Nevertheless, there are times when you don't feel comfortable around a certain type of person. The classic coffee mornings, which are all about the latest gossip, are anathema to you. You also have only limited mastery of the art of small talk. You much prefer conversations that are characterized by depth and a genuine connection. In a loud, superficial group of people, you feel like a cuckoo's child and would prefer to flee. Your soul suffers when valuable time is wasted pointlessly. You value people far too much to have to watch them pass their days with meaningless activities. Sometimes you would like to shake them up and tell them that life is finite and that they could make much better use of their time. But that is not your nature. A pure soul is full of love. It is therefore not jealous and does not push itself to the fore. 2. Your intuition is very strong. It almost goes without saying that people with a good heart and a pure soul also have a strong intuition. You find it extremely easy to make contact with other people immediately, as you have fine antenna for their mood and their needs. People can't fool you with friendly generalities. If someone is doing well, it is self-explanatory for you. If the opposite is the case, you usually only have to look at the person and you know what's going on. People really appreciate your empathetic nature, especially because you are secretive and discreet and would never divulge other people's secrets. 3. You approach others openly and impartially. People like you don't judge a book by its cover. You are not impressed by people's social status, level of education, or appearance. For you, all creatures on this planet are unique beings who deserve respect and recognition. You know from experience that everyone has their own baggage to carry, and that we usually only know a fraction about our fellow human beings. They all have demons to fight within themselves and battles to fight, none of which are revealed to the outside world. You therefore practice understanding and tolerance and let people be who they are. You will be particularly appreciated for this. Unfortunately, being liked for yourself is not a matter of course, but a real luxury. 4. You feel the feelings of your fellow human beings like your own. Strong empathy has a clear disadvantage for your own emotional life. You sometimes barely manage to distinguish the emotions of those around you from your own. People are happy and sad, angry or anxious, and you are with them. You have to learn to carry this burden, otherwise it will crush you at some point. Over time, you'll probably get a pretty good handle on not letting yourself be dominated by other people's feelings. The people around you, on the other hand, can probably hardly believe their luck that there is someone who understands them so well, and often without words. 5. You are interested in all things spiritual and metaphysical. Anyone who is in harmony with their soul and can call a pure heart their own is already very close to a state of enlightenment. The knowledge that there is more between heaven and earth than just the obvious accompanies you through each of your days. You trust the higher powers and turn to them with all your small and large requests. You practice prayer and meditation and understand the universal laws of fate and how they work. You do not need a specific religion or a faith with strict guidelines. Any philosophy that upholds and honors life is welcome. You recognize the divine in the smallest things and go through your life mindfully and gratefully. 6. You do not externalize your feelings. If you are empathic and compassionate, you have to handle your own feelings with care. You know that you have to pay attention to them, but they must not influence your dealings with others. A pure soul ensures that your own feelings are in the best possible place 
in situ. You don't suppress them, but you don't show them to the outside world either. They are your private matter and will be heard if you can find the necessary peace and time for them. 7. Other people are magically attracted to you. This point arises naturally from your impartiality and your empathetic side. People can't help but find you irresistible and very attractive. They feel comfortable in your presence and can recharge their batteries by talking to you and giving free rein to their thoughts and feelings. People will often ask you for your opinion as you do not react critically or judgmentally. In addition, your intuition and keen powers of observation have given you a wealth of knowledge. There is hardly a problem for which you do not have at least one solution at hand. 8. Social contacts tire you out quickly. Given all these circumstances, it is not surprising that contact with your fellow human beings is very tiring for you. While most people don't even really listen when talking to others, you are involved with all your senses. You feel what the other person is feeling and sympathize with everyone who comes to you for help. You memorize every last detail of their stories, which makes you a particularly good listener, but also drains your energy resources. After events or occasions where you have met several people at the same time, you ideally always need a few days of silence afterwards to recover. Being good has a price. Many people who have been blessed with a pure soul and above average empathy live their lives alone. This may not have been a conscious decision, but is due to the particular circumstances of their lives. They simply would not have the strength to transmit and receive privately on all frequencies at the same time. Their destiny is rather to put their special talent at the service of a good cause and to make the world a better place for their fellow human beings.